Hi everybody, this is Diane. I have a couple of little homemade things to put in my shop. The first is a bundle of homemade ephemera and the second is a recipe mini album in a retro style. So I'll just show you this one first. I just recently made uh, a few swan journals and I had some pieces left over. And I added a couple fabric flips that don't, don't have any swans on them but they're the beautiful floral pieces that came on the swan fabric. The gorgeous colors. So I decided to put a little bundle together for you. So this is one of the images that I made with my Cricut. It's two layers of cardstock. So it's a nice sturdy piece that would make an excellent tuck spot if your journal is wide enough. I don't have my ruler here to tell you how big this is. And um, everything is gonna come in this pink and white chevron bag too. There are three tags <clears throat> made with my Cricut and again it's two layers of cardstock. The white layer is solid and then the blue layer or the pink layer have the swans cut out of them so you can see the white through them. And then they're tied with eyelash trim or the fluffy fiber. So you get two blue and one pink. Then you get the fabric flips and a fabric tag that I made. And I used one of, some of these I put in pockets and then some I sewed across the top just like a fabric flip onto the page. But it's made out of a linen fabric that's doubled and there's a little piece of white chenille. I couldn't think of the word. A little piece of white chenille there. and. One of the Mrs. Cog's images with some swans and a little scrap of eyelet and some sari silk. And then I found this and it was too late for it to go into my swan journals, um, but it is a <coughs> an image of a swan and a definition of a swan from a vintage dictionary. So you could cut this out and make your own ephemera with that. So that is the Swan Ephemera Bundle that will be in my shop, and it's there when the video goes up. So today is, what is today? Today is Wednesday, and I plan on getting these two items in the shop um, this evening, and, or maybe this afternoon, maybe I won't wait too long. But I'll tell you that I'm also working on um, a much larger Etsy restock, which will include ideals books those uh, and some Christmas items. Those big Christmas books, uh, a little bit of Christmas fabric, and some Christmas music. And then I'm also working on uh, Christmas journal kits. So I don't know if they'll go in tomorrow but the other things will so just keep watching my shop so <coughs> tomorrow evening I'll probably wait till about 6 or 7 p.m. my time um, to put tomorrow's items in so just to give you a heads up all right so this is a recipe mini album that I created a few years ago uh, if you saw I did a flip through recently of a journal similar to this that I made for my granddaughter and I put my, our family recipes in it along with photos of her cooking with us through the years. Uh, and this is one that I had made for myself and it's got the vintage, uh, the retro images that I absolutely love. I love the retro homemaker images like from the 50s. So this was made for me and it has things in it that I love and it's made with a fantastic line of uh, Stampin' Up! paper. It went out of, it went on clearance. Uh, they were putting it, they were discontinuing it and I bought like three packs of it because it was on clearance. <laughs> and I love that paper so much. But I, as, as I'm pack, unpacking my boxes, I'm, I'm almost done emptying boxes as I, you know, since I moved seven months ago. Um, but I found this and I thought I haven't used it and I don't really have a lot of room for extra things. I got rid of most of my cookbooks. 
Um, so I thought, well, I might as well put this in my shop and see if anybody would love it. So all of these things on the front were cut out with my Cricut, this lady. This is from the Suburbia cartridge. So most of the things in here were from Suburbia and from my kitchen. Those are the cartridges. And there's the back with that pretty plaid. There's a little spot right there where the paper got scuffed, just so you know. Um, this stove is cut from my Cricut. Isn't that cool? And I added just a tag that you can stamp on or write on. Now, this is a mini album, so the, the pages are folded. And I do have a video, an old video on my channel of how these pages are made. So I will link that video in the description box. But it is one sheet of double-sided 12 by 12 paper. And it's folded and cut in such a way that you get a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket there. And then you just stuff the pockets with whatever you want. So each of the big pockets has a large manila tag made out of a manila file folder and it's decorated and it's got a manila tab on it and there are either pockets or places to put recipes on so this one has a large recipe card that's got washi tape holding it on and then you can write here and here and then there's another card underneath with a stamped oven mitt on it so there's room for three recipes there and then on the back there's another pocket that has several recipe cards and of course you can add recipe cards too to any of the pockets in this journal but isn't this paper fantastic and then there's a pocket here and uh, I think this was a card from Seven Gypsies and it's got you know, a quarter tablespoon, one fourth cup dash. It's got oven temperatures, dash, pinch, peck, smidge, just recipe stuff there. And then paper clipped into it were two larger recipe cards. And it's a pink and white striped paper clip. And then on this pocket, there's a sticker with a journaling spot on it. And this really cool image of a lady with a casserole. You can write on that. And then there's a recipe card that I stamped a cake on. And then here we have the large tag that has a pocket and some stickers and this wonderful image of a smiling teapot, tea kettle. And you can write on that. And this pocket is shaped like a um, tabbed recipe card. And these cards I could make with different shapes of tabs from my, um, from my kitchen Cricut cartridge. And again, we have some recipe cards here and some rooster washi tape. Oops, this goes here. There's a little recipe card here that's from Seven Gypsies. And I think I got this at Hobby Lobby, but it was a long time ago. Hmm. There's something on that. It's like, it's like some tape rubbed on it or something. Hmm. I'm going to leave it in there because that is really cool and you might you might want to cut that, cut that off or cover it with washi or something. And there's a recipe card. And then here's another sticker that says made from scratch. And these, this sticker here. You can write on that and on that. I asked my daughter if she wanted it, if she wanted me to write recipes on it for her. But she's got a stack of my handwritten recipes on index cards, and she doesn't have a lot of room for stuff either, so she told me to put it in my shop. Here's a little booklet that I made, and I cut this knife with the Cricut and added this little star-shaped brad. 
This cutting board was cut with my Cricut and I just drew the lines on it and added this baker's twine. There's a rooster recipe card and rooster washi tape on the back and then it opens up and it has it says whisk and there's a whisk and it says stir and there's a wooden spoon and then some recipe tabbed cards on there for writing. I like this old um, vintage tablecloth looking uh, paper. There's some stickers there. And this is from a piece of pattern cardstock that had recipes on it and I, it's just a small portion of that. And those eggs, I love those eggs. And they were cut with my Cricut and then um, a little tiny white, <laughs> uh, what do you call it, reflective piece is glued onto it. Some more recipe cards. Some stickers. It says Mom's Kitchen and this one just says Kitchen. And then on the big card it's like a waterfall and you can write lots of recipes on this. And then there's another card on the back. I like this one with the casserole. Of course, that was cut with my Cricut. It's got a colored index card put on as a pocket. Just a couple recipe cards in there. And another one of those cool tags from Seven Gypsies. And this one has laundry on it. This, if, if I was able to keep this and write my recipes in it, I wouldn't keep it in my kitchen and make a mess out of it. It would be like an heirloom. Um, there's another... Did I stamp that? I think I stamped this recipe lines on it. And this is an image that I probably got from Pinterest. There's the lady that's on the front, right? Oh, nope, she's different. This one's carrying a pie, and this one has her uh, shopping list. And it says, from the kitchen of, on that sticker. Here we have a rolling pin that I, that I cut with my Cricut, and I put it on as a belly band. And then this is to make sure the cards don't fall out, fall all the way through. And then some more cards. There's a frying pan cut with my Cricut and a oven mitt. And another card that I got off the internet, off Pinterest. And here is a card that has some stickers and some stamping on it. Two recipe cards to write on. And on the back, there's a pocket. It says, pinch of this, dash of that. And a sticker up here. And some recipe cards tucked in the pocket. This is the housekeeping page. There's ironing boards and dust pans and pillows, vacuum cleaners and chairs. And the beaters, the mixer was cut with my Cricut, and the sticker says, in the kitchen. This is a double size recipe card. You can open that up. A lot of the recipe cards I put in here are for, from Current. And like this one is from my personal collection. I had bought these. These are from Current. I bought them so many years ago. And a lot of the recipes in my recipe box were written on these cards, but I had some that were still blank. And here's a refrigerator cut with the Cricut. 
and I just put a journaling spot on the back of that. I love the timer that was made with my Cricut. A couple more index cards. And these are stamps. And that's the back. And it's tied closed with a red ribbon. So thanks for taking a look at that book with me. And I hope that one of you is going to want it and write your family recipes in it to hand down to your uh, children or grandchildren. So I really enjoyed making this way back when. And um, I love the images in it. And I hope that you like it too. So this will be these items will be in my shop when the video goes up and if you're if they're not there when you go to my shop it's because they've been sold. And uh, I thank you for watching and visiting my shop and be sure to check in tomorrow evening uh, as I will be listing some hopefully I will be listing some um, vintage items that I've been finding at the flea markets basically Christmas, but there will be some more other, other items also. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Have a creative day. Bye-bye.